This video will give you a familiarization tour of the FIC software. Additional videos are available for all areas of the FIC and will explain each setting and function in detail. You can connect to and communicate with the FIC even if it's not in the car. As long as you have the USB cable connecting the FIC to the computer, it will work. First, select the File Open icon. Select a calibration and click Open. You will see the icons along the top are no longer grayed out. To establish communication with the FIC, press the red Connect to FIC icon. Once communication is established between the PC and the FIC, the icon will turn green. Let's start by selecting the icon of the dial gauge. This will open the gauges display, which is your primary communication window with the FIC. You'll see three gauges displayed on the top. These are RPM, Load, and AFR. The AFR gauge is actually a general purpose display, but we've pre-configured it to display AFR. You can reconfigure it to display any channel type you like. All of the gauges allow you to set custom scaling, warning and danger bands, as well as alarm values. On the bottom of the gauges display, you will see the live values for all of the input voltages to the FIC, as well as all the generated output voltages and injector duty cycles. Now clicking on the Setup System icon opens the Setup screen. This is the primary configuration screen for the FIC. Here you can select your preferred display units, set the injector response time, and configure your load input type. This is also where you configure and clamp your MAF sensor and set up the desired outputs for up to two additional 0 to 5 volt remapping channels. Over here is where you configure the O2 sensor modifying functions. These allow you to bias the factory O2 sensors so you can influence the factory ECU while it's still in feedback mode. Here is the internal logger configuration and the setup for the switch 12 volt output, which can be activated based on RPM throttle and boost criteria. These icons take you directly to the calibration maps. The I button is the ignition map, and its look and feel is typical of all the maps. On the left hand side you see the load configuration and on the top you see RPM. Both of these are completely configurable. And while each map does something different, they all look and are controlled in the same way. Next to the ignition map icon you see the icons for the fuel, MAF, O2, and the A and B recalibration maps. And that's basically it. Please select additional videos for detailed instructions on specific functions.